You know, I'm not. I'd never call out anybody personally or you individually. No, 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 no. All right. There's also legal ramifications to oh, insulting yeah. employees. Oh, that's true. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I would just say that, like, compounding, uh, I don't know, um, laziness. Yeah. Yeah. That that builds up over time, uh -oh. which adds more and more workload to you know me and Allison to get to the point where we're just like, can't do it. And it's tough because we've. Uh, this is this is not this is not a. Um, for, for for a lot of people, they're hearing this right now. Like, holy crap! Yeah. Why is this happening? I was like, oh, we've been talking about this for months. You know. And then it's fascinating because like. You know, two months, three months ago, we're going over like finances and, you know, I'll, I'll break it all down for everybody. Uh, we, we, we do really well. Uh, our members, you guys seriously do sustain us. And that allows us to have a, what I would call a safe profit margin every month. That means we're capable, like we're not worried. Why is he saying, let me, I'll break it all down. And then he's not going to break anything down. When he says we have a safe profit margin every month, he's making it sound like they're like, you know, our expenses are 50K, but our profit is like, 70k like we do okay right rather than the fact that he's probably making i would imagine tim scores an easy seven figures a year in net uh, like in uh, in net like profit like not not grossing not like before expenses he probably nets in a cool a cool one mil plus a year from this job at least that if we have a bad month people are gonna get fired or anything's gonna shut down like that and that's that's why i'm always like we need members so that we can try and make new things and grow and do bookings and make things good and better and all that stuff and uh you know, it just the problem is, even with all of that, without a proper CEO who isn't hosting the show, it's not possible. Yeah, you have to have somebody to go to that's not you. Yeah, and so... I've learned that on my own show. And yeah, you need a hierarchy like any business needs a hierarchy. And we, we, we have that. I mean, we don't have that many people for, for his company. Oh, shit. Tim honestly talking business and not sucking on some stupid shit. Yeah, you have to have somebody to go to that's not you. <clears throat> yeah, and so... I've learned that on my own show. And yeah, and you need a hierarchy like any business it needs a hierarchy. Neither of those two things are true. Okay. What Tim is talking about is, because it's the thing I run into a lot, okay, is there is a skill set and there is a list of responsibilities that go into um, running a company, doing full-time work for the company, and also running the company as a full-time job will burn you out super fast. It's a very hard thing to do. Not recommended. It's not a good use of time. Um, it's just, it's very difficult. You can't, you, can't, you can't wear both hats at the same time. You just don't have time of the day. Um, one of the things that is uh, that has been impeding me so much, right, is like trying to be a full-time streamer and doing all the podcasting stuff and traveling and researching. Like it's, you can't, to wear all of like the hats at the same time is very, 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 very difficult. Bordering impossible. And even if you are doing it, like I do, it's not recommended because you're just wasting time. You should be creating content or doing what you're better at rather than also trying to run the business at the same time. So that's probably what, that's what Timmy's running into. It's a, it's a bad thing. And we, we, we have that. I mean, we don't have that many people for, for his company. It's like, I think we have like 30 something employees. Yeah. yeah. And there, and it 30 employees is not that many. He's probably got like four W-2s at the most. You've got 30 full-time? How many full-time? How many W-2? 30 employees? No shot. 30 employees is like medium-sized business. No, what do you? What all do they do? Why? Maybe if he has like 15 shows or something, but aren't Tim's expenses like five to 10 times yours? I'd imagine it's more complicated when you suddenly lose Russian revenue. Um, I seriously doubt Tim's costs are that much greater than mine. Um... I mean, the most expensive thing is probably the massive compound that he has. But like all of his other stuff, I'm not shitting on him from a working perspective, but it's not like um, none of the other things that he does are high cost, right? He's not like flying around the world and shit all the time and everything, right? He just, uh, the biggest cost is probably just the house, no? Yeah. And there, and it's, and it's, uh, and then like 10 contractors, but it's large. 30 employees and 10 contractors? I don't believe him. No shot. You have 30 employees? For what? For what? And 10 contractors? What the f*** does he employ so many people for? That's a big, that's a, like a, you're on a full on like medium sized business. That's crazy. That's a empire. You know, I was talking to some friends of mine earlier who, uh, pro skaters, and we were talking about why, I'll, I'll put it in my words, I not like theirs. Them. They're very cool. Yeah, I like them a lot. Uh, I was, cool so for four years, we've been trying to do a show that is built around, we have this awesome property, we have skate parks. We have Willy Wonka's candy factory or whatever, yeah. chocolate factory. Why can't we get people to just do something? Because if you haven't earned it, you're not as thirsty for it. Perhaps. God, it's so cringe listening to fucking people with no... What, what is this guy's job? What does he do? Um, <clears throat> here's something that I think is actually important. Also, I'm saying this, by the way, as a small business owner, okay? So I don't even know, like, big corporate things. So I could be saying retarded shit as well, okay? I'm not as retarded as these guys. 
but I might still be mega retarded, okay? Here's something that I think is actually important that I've learned over the years. Um, creative directors matter. Uh, if you don't have the time to be the full director and provide vision for a, a project on your own, it's really hard to just hire people and say, especially creative work, and say, like, hey, I want you to like, create something cool out of this. Um, employees can be good for kind of more robotic tasks or, you know, to do whatever, you know, like, oh, I can execute the thing to maintain the whatever. But to find somebody with, like, you have to, to find somebody who can creatively direct a project, a creative director is important. Um, Tim can't just have a bunch of skaters and people that know how to record stuff. He's like, hey, guys, make a show out of this. Not going to do it. You have to, you have to appoint, you need a creative director to say, this is my vision for this project and we're going to go ahead and do this, right? Yeah, that's it. That, it's a real, I, in my opinion, my limited opinion, because I've been, I've made the mistake of not doing this in the past. Um, having a creative director is, is essential to things like this. Things don't happen um, on their own like that. You know, you know what I think too is, um, I've been hearing this a lot from a lot of different people who are working uh, small to large companies, and I'm not going to drag their personal their personal you know business into the public or anything. But no, and I've regretted doing that in the past. I'm, I'm hearing a lot about how there's like a talent and management crisis right now, and the example that I've given because I have no connection to it whatsoever. Talent in management crisis. Tim is learning or, or relearning, although he's got a larger. He definitely has a larger operation than I do. I'm pretty sure he does. Um, you, you spend so much time as a man on the internet listening to software devs and everybody talk about like how shitty management is and managers are annoying and fuck sprints and stand-ups and all this cringe, stupid shit. Uh, management is really important. Middle management is essential. Uh, people cannot self-direct. Uh, people can't have time frames. People can't deliver, you know, an expected way. You, you need, middle managers are essential to the function of any like small to medium to large sized enterprise. You have to have managers that are keeping people on task, on time, that are working to interface between you and your place. It's just essential. You have to have it. Um, and, and a good manager is, I mean, employees and owners or hire managers know the importance of a good manager. It's a good managers are essential and are so important. However, I can't, uh, I can't do all of these things at the same time. I can't wake up at seven, go in, computer's fried, studio doesn't work, no backups were created. I have no means of producing the show that makes money f to, to run the, the business. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to have to make sure that I, I run and maintain and build the system. The first Timcast IRL studio that we built, I built by myself. All of it. Now we're at the point where we've got multiple people and we've built this big studio. I don't know what is what. When I built the studio, I knew every output. I knew every sure. input. Now I have no idea. So when the computer breaks, I'm like, I don't know why. Why yeah. can't I reboot the computer? I don't know. And so that means I can't turn it on. Where's the backup system? It was never set up. Okay, well, I can't do morning, night, and family stuff at the same time. Impossible. Damn, so do you need a backup computer system? We don't got one of those. <laughs> oh, shit. So at this point, it's a cascade of, of failures and, you know, straws on camel's back where I'm like, okay, I, I don't think this can, this is it. And so it's we- not, He makes it sound like he wanted the studio set up to run without a producer there, like how ours runs. So how does he have 30 employees if he doesn't even have a producer for his live show? What the fuck is he? Where are all these employees at? What the fuck? I, yeah, my, my gut feeling is that he, um, my, here's a, this is a gut feeling that I have. I, and I can't prove this because I don't know. This is what it feels like his business is set up as. <clears throat> it feels like he wants to do four shows a week where he basically just shows up, turns on the streams, Okay, and then he sits in front of the camera and he talks about things. Doesn't I don't think he does much in terms of show prep or research um, because he it doesn't seem informed on anything and he just repeats kind of like the talking points. I'm not like trying to talk shit. I'm just saying it, it doesn't seem like something that he does a lot of research for his shows. He probably has at least one employee to fly people in and do bookings and everything. He might have two people that handle that. Um, there's him, Tim, um, and then he might have like a co-host. Uh, I'm trying to think now if he even has a producer for these shows or if it's all auto switching. Maybe he'll have a producer. But then it sounds like what he has on the side is he's got a ton of these other projects where he's like, bro, like you guys should come in. Like we're friends, like come and like work. And so they kind of show up. They either hang out at the house. They hang out at the skate park. And Tim's like, we should like shoot content or do something. Like let's like, you know, make some money and do stuff. And they're like, uh, yeah, sure. It sounds good. But there's not a, there's not a creative director. There's not like a, anybody pushing them to actually do a project or create a show or do anything. So it just, so these people just basically hang out on Tim's property and they kind of hang out and do whatever. And he's like, ah, maybe something will happen at some point. However, um, all of this was probably okay in the last year, uh, because they had that huge windfall from, uh, from Russia, right? He was getting $5 million of extra money to basically do nothing extra. And that money was probably going basically exclusively to him. I no, there's no way anybody else is getting any of that money. I would be surprised if anybody else had equity or shares in his business, although it's possible they did, but I'd be surprised that they did. Um, so now that that Russia money is gone, 
Now Tim probably has to look at all of his different revenue streams and all of his different costs, and he probably has to start evaluating, okay, hold on, what the fuck do I have here that's like making me money, and what the fuck do I have here that's costing me money? And he's probably starting to ax a lot of the things that are costing him money and keep a lot of the things that are highly profitable. So things like the show, he kind of said it, right, when he's like, I can run this on my own. That's a very profitable venture, very low cost, very low overhead, right? So that feels like what's happening. There's no way he has 30 employees. He probably has 30 friends that are hanging out at the skate park and in his house and everything. And he's hoping that eventually they'll start making content or doing something, but they're not ever going to do that. Yeah.